Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. You know it's gonna be a good day when you're uh, cooking some oil in an Australian 1700 horsepower Freedom Machine burnout car. So guys, right now, James and I are prepping the Warbird for its first official fire up. We did try and start it the other day, but as you saw, we had a leaking fuel line. So went ahead and replaced that. And today we might go for the maiden voyage. Oh, she should be ready. Yeah. So if all goes well, the plan is we're gonna put burnout tires on it and whack the throttle today for about, I don't know, four or five seconds so that that's enough for them to get the data they want. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pull a data log off the race pack. They want to make sure that their tune up is good because obviously Warbird's on a completely different side of the country now. And uh, if that all goes well, we will then be given the go ahead to go to the Freedom Factory and do the first official full test burnout. But we'll start with like a maybe 20, 30 second burnout then do the full tire popping burnout. Yeah, maybe here we'll give them like a very light partial throttle, like four or five seconds, and then like a more moderate little half throttle, maybe a little bit more four or five seconds, send yeah. them like a 10 second data log. Okay, so what we're gonna do is get it fired up, and if all is good, James and I are gonna hop in. We're gonna go up around the block, make sure the drivetrain feels good, and if, if all goes well, we'll pull up behind the shop right here, and Toast is gonna have to watch, but uh, we're gonna do a burnout, hopefully right here, yeah. and. Uh, that we'll send out the data. Driving it would be good too because it'll get the transmission fully up the temp in both, you know, low gear, high gear, get fluid everywhere in it again. Yeah. Same thing with the ring and pinion, get fluid back in the action. Yeah, tube, really. And all that stuff. Yes, sir. Warbird's going on its first American cruise since the ship over. All right, guys. So the oil tank, it's nice and hot to the touch. So we're going to kill the generator. But uh, we have to put some. We have to use their generator because, as you'll see here, the Australian plug. All right, James, I'm just gonna get fully in the car. Good thing they sent that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good thing they sent that. We'll get an adapter so we can just build yeah. ourselves a, uh, a cord. extension cord. I'll get in there. And then you got your little fuel bottle. Yeah, I got my fuel bottle. And everything. All right. All right, brother. Power's on. Are you on? All right, uh, I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna turn it over real quick. Good call. All right, I'm turning it over real quick. Okay. All right, ignition's on. I'm ready if you are.
Thing's loud, right? A little loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's make sure that water pump's working, James. Oh, uh, it felt like it was working. All right. It's on right now. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay, cool. I just wanted to double check. All right, guys. Everything seems to be working like we want it to. Uh, it does take a long time to get temperature into this thing. We're screaming at each other to try and talk. Uh, it's running on every single cylinder. We're just uh, just freaking trying to figure this thing out. Yeah, you gotta like scream. <laughs> Ear plugs in doesn't help, and then how loud this thing is on yeah. top of that. You're basically just reading each other's lips. Yeah. It's, it's all like sign language. So did you hear how it went to a higher idle? That's because I pulled the right yeah, amount of fuel out, out and it started heating up faster. I'm ready to go for a drive if you are. Yeah. All right, fuel on. Come on. started sticking there I was gonna do a, gonna do a little rip but it's not worth it with the throttle like that so we're gonna address that real quick but it came up the temp this is an intimidating car dude <laughs> I'm not gonna lie oh no uh the jam nut back down it's holding it open oh oh there you go oh, there we go yeah all right I'll get in I'll turn around I'll whack the throttle actually let's just do it back there do it on the concrete high I'm gear. gonna do a little high gear rip just to let him know where we're at yeah, but we'll do it on our property. We'll pull the chip out of the race pack. You can download it to the computer yeah. and send it right there. Okay, there you go. Ha, ha, ha. 
That is ridiculous. Dude, that was probably the most smoke volume off the shortest, lowest RPM burnout I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Literally, you did that. Dude. You drove by, I like followed you, panned back, and there was just like there was a white wall there. You couldn't even see past the fence. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Bro, it felt insane. That was like barely any throttle. I don't know if you can see the blade. Oh, it's, it was like. It barely cracked, and that was what maybe 4,500, 5,000. And that's high gear. Up. That's yeah. high gear. It's already going. Good lord, dude. Look at this. Yeah, the blower hat's freezing. It's a puddle of water. Holy <laughs> crap. The guys at Castle Main Rod Shop, dude, they have built one hell of a unit. So she wasn't hot, but we might as well let the water flow. And uh, yeah, run the pump and fans. Let it get down. Here let it drop feet, down, dude. Yeah. And then uh, get the tires. Woo! How's this thing sound, dude? It sounds amazing. So we're going to pull the spark plugs once it cools down. And uh, we will go from there, dude. Holy crap, boys. Dude. So, no, no excessive heat in this thing at all. Very conservative timing timing mark on the strap. A little bit of, you know, you know, we had a couple rough starts, so there is a little bit of raw fuel build up on the porcelain the plug. Yeah, no big deal. So it's a little bit funky on the on the fuel ring down there. But other than that, Woo. Looks, looks solid. All the rest is, of them look that good. Yeah, all of them look this great. Fire yeah. me up. OK, so judging by James's data log, we're going to be good to rip. She's ready. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this might be the damn rowdiest car we've ever played with. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I want to just thank the guys at Rod Shop again for trusting us. We did the maiden voyage. I didn't even get to a 10 second burnout, bro. That was like five seconds. And I, I honestly, it was just so much going on that I was like, all right, I'm done. We'll get them the data log. Everything seems good though. It seems like it's on all eight. It seems like it's just, it's got so much power on tap, dude. That's a crazy thing. How, how far open were these? Like. <laughs> Hit that throttle full, oh, you can't. Well, yeah, the fuel's off, so hit it full throttle really quick. But, oh, that's all they opened up. So I was probably three quarter throttles, half throttle, so it was like that. That is insane, you bro. Like, you whacked it, you were like, rah, brought it to here and it's like, That is so rad. All right, boys, I, dude, I'm like, I'm a little shook by this car, I'm not gonna lie, this thing, uh makes toast feel like a daily driver it does turn really well though i like how well uh at the angle like oh it seemed like it steered no problem yeah a little bit it has a really good turning ratio so a little bit of wheel turns it very sharp uh, i gotta love that everything about the warbird dude she's incredible so hopefully we send this data log out and everything looks good to them and we will uh be down at the freedom factory on an actual set of tires i did a little burnout on the the street tires I didn't think it'd be that smoky. <laughs> really lit them off. <laughs> it was literally a wall of smoke. I, you couldn't see past the fence. You were like a car length in on the fence. When I, fo I followed you, pan back, yeah. and from the fence back was just a wall of smoke. Yeah, and I, I just eased into the throttle. I didn't want to get it like a whack start. So I was like, Whoa, and it just, I mean, it just came right up. It ain't nothing. So, all right, guys, we're going to end it off there. Please give the Rod Shop guys a follow. Like I said, you know, this is a project we're doing with them. So any love and support you guys can show to the Castle Main Rod Shop. Go check out their YouTube channel. It's linked above. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Devil Freaking. See you later.